Uh, thank you so much for your generosity in answering all our questions every week. Oh, my pleasure. I uh, appreciate it. Um, the reason I'm here is because I've been, somebody has preliminary, preliminarily diagnosed me with tennis elbow. So I have uh, the, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I've been doing some work with uh, just receiving some acupuncture and therapy and sweeping it some, but it's moving kind of slow. And so tendonitis can be, um, you know, because the, the nature of tendons, it, tendons and ligaments is they they have a, a poor blood supply in their, their denser tissue. And, and then you have a tendon is moving in and out of a sheath. And so if it gets like irritated, you know, basically it gets a little bit of like a little bit of swelling or something, and it actually starts to rub the, te- the sheath a little bit more and like the capsule could get inflamed in the area. It's just, it, it can start a little bit of a chain reaction. And so sometimes like it's different than like if you just got a cramp in something. And, and so uh, l- let me just ask you a few questions. Like, so um, uh, are, is there any sporting activity that you're doing or repetitive motion, computer work, like anything that you're doing with the arm that's... It- Definitely. I mean, definitely on the computer, you know, I switch my mouth, mouse hands over, but there's a lot of, you know, gardening, pulling. Gotcha. That's probably, yeah. Yeah, So it's probably a combination of those things. So the, the, the thing that I would use, um, and you can do variations of it. So like, I'll talk you through it, but, um, Usually the thing that we use for, for, for tendons and tendonitis mm-hmm. is a combination of eucalyptus citradora, which okay. is, um, it's good for like deposits. So if there's any like kind of crystalline deposits on the tendon and sheath, it kind of cleans that up, but it's very anti-inflammatory. And then I, I mix it half and half with um, helichrysum. And the helichrysum, good for inflammation, good for detoxifying the area, a good pain reliever, and um, uh, helps to release uh, some of the fascia. And when you look at like a tendon, like sometimes, like if you get a cramp in your back, you know, you increase the blood flow, it kind of goes away. But a tendon, like if it tightens up or knots up a little bit, it takes a lot to unwind that because the blood's really not penetrating like quite like it should. And okay. so um, I, I would do the combination of the two. And if you only have one, like if you only had the helichrysum, you could start putting on the area like neat or with a little bit of massage oil. But I would okay. do two, the two. And uh, eucalyptus citradora, you know, it's, it's not very expensive. It, it even reduces okay. the cost of like treating it. I, I, I would do it neat and sometimes with massage oil. And the reason to do it sometimes with massage oil, because when you put it on neat, it kind of goes into the tissue very, very quickly. And you're kind of wanting that to happen for the treatment of the, the, the tendon. But like when you mix it in with a little bit of massage oil, you know, basically the molecules of the massage oil, let's say you're using sesame oil, for example, the molecules are a little bit bigger. They don't penetrate the skin quite as fast. And so you have that volatile oil, which is the essential oil and the massage oil, and they're mixed together. And so you rub it on an area. And so what happens is the the sesame oil doesn't penetrate quite as quickly as the, um, the essential oil. And so as you put it on the area, eventually it kind of separates and the, the essential oil goes into the tissue. It's, it's, a lot like doing a time release with the essential oil that's very specific. You know what I mean? So the neat is like a quick delivery into the the area. And then you follow it up uh, in, you know, 10, 15 minutes and you do it with a little bit of massage oil. And then just over a period of time, it just keeps like doing a slow drip into that area. Um, I really like that approach for tendonitis. And um, a lot of times if, if you do that, this will usually wipe it out. It might take a few days, but you'll usually start feeling relief with like first treatment or two. That sounds and, great. Yeah, and so that with you know the acupuncture and the healing and all that, um, that should really knock that out. Yeah. Okay. And let me look something up real quick before we move on. So let me see if there's another support we can do here.
Yeah, I, I think that's probably good. Okay. I, I don't have, uh, I thought there might be something else, but. I do have a bottle of warming muscle tonic laying around that I've hardly used for anything. Would that be helpful at all? Um, not so much for the tendonitis itself. I mean, you can use it on like uh, above or below the area, but for the tendonitis, okay. you know, cause that's more of a, like a circulatory tonic, which like after you unwind the inflammation and the pain a little bit, you could use it on that spot to like warm up okay. before and after, um, you know, exercise or pulling weeds or being in the garden. But to get the tendonitis out, you got to really focus a little bit more on reducing inflammation. Okay. And, and it's inflammation. And it's also like taking out of like, it's, you know, there's different kinds of like tensions and spasms and contractions in the body and uh, things in a tendon can be um, a little bit more difficult and a little bit more specific than some of the other things. And so um, if for some reason that this, these two oils together don't produce um, an immediate result, I still use those two oils, but I add a little yarrow into it as well. And that helps with reducing inflammation a little bit more. And it also helps with um, also kind of spasms and things. But um, I, I like to always start off with just the two oils by themselves and just equal parts, like equal part eucalyptus citradora, equal part helicrytum. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're so welcome.